Imagine if the New York Jets had a public vote on who they were gonna go after in free agency a couple weeks ago, and that was public domain. That would have hurt them. Well, Gary, it doesn't matter what the Jets do. We, we can't Hold on, that. hold on. This could blow up <laughs> real fast right now. The Gary V Audio Experience. Edmund Preston, great to see you guys. Hope you're well. Uh, super excited about our collaboration and uh, the innovations we're doing in sports. Uh, for the people that don't know you guys, you want to give yourselves a, a little intro here? Preston, why don't you go ahead? You're more exciting than I am. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look, my background is somewhat in sports. I was a sports better for about a decade, and then I was a TV analyst on ESPN for a few years, and then actually left to prioritize Web3 last year in March um, and started Pixel Vault with the Punks Comic Project with Sean Guerin. And Gary, thank you. I know you were supportive of me from the get-go there. So just appreciative to be here, extremely lucky and excited that uh, we get to talk to you a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, my name's Evan Smith. I was a former options trader, uh, lost the licensing battle around NBA Top Shot, got into NFTs pretty early um, and just kind of back again with the past year and see a lot of uh, stuff to build and really excited about it. Um. What's the most exciting part of this project from your perspective? For me, it's that, you know, we've seen all of these communities gather that are digitally native first around intellectual property, around community storytelling. And um, there's all this excitement and often it feels like, um, you know, it's without the spine of a story. It's really, it's amazing that it's happened uh, well, without the story already pre-told, but with sports, you have season after season where you have a game every Saturday to gather around, a team to follow, you know, from, from starting with a, a team in the fourth division, we have a place to go. It's a natural goal. It's just, um, it, it should be really exciting to take all the parts that have worked so far and try to apply it to a sports franchise. Press. Yeah, to go a step further, I mean, people have been talking about it online for seven, eight months, like, hey, we should buy a sports team or do something, right? And just the crypto web three space as a whole. I'm excited about actually trying to do that, right? Like we got this club, we want to bring it to the people and they can help us via digital first community stuff, build it into something that's great, um, that actually has a chance because I mean, you've done a great job of eFriends, by the way, of actually bringing utility and what Evan's alluding to it. 99% out there to say, hey, you might have a hoodie one day or a character into central land. Like we have a sports club, right? We have a team. Let's let's, let's build from there. And so I think I think it's everyone's pretty excited because they've been asking for this anyway, and we've been able to kind of deliver also, at least so far. Yeah. Yeah, Gary, I, I would actually be interested in what you have to say, but to me, it's like it's a blank space in figuring out what it means to have a digitally native community-owned sports team, right? That's so it's exactly like, what it is. It's not. I it's, mean, for me, for yeah. me, it's a clean canvas around an interest graph that I'm obsessed with that can tap into new technologies to create new outcomes. Yeah, 100%. Right. You know, this team um, has been bound by its region for 126 years, and they've, they've gotten as high as League One. And there's, uh, uh, there's really no pathway for them to grow beyond that if, if, they, if they go the old-fashioned way. But we have the ability to try to find fans from all over the world with a new branding and with a new approach. And if we're successful at that, we're just going to have a um, – a much larger growth opportunity than the rest of the teams around us. And that should, should lead to outsized outcomes, which will hopefully attract more fans. I mean, that's really what we're trying to do. When, when your friends in real life hear a whiff of this and they're like, wait, wait, what are you doing? Cause I want a lot of people to hear this. What, um, how do you answer them? Preston. Sure. I mean, that's actually, most people just think it's really cool because I was like, oh, that's always the dream when you're a kid. How do you, how do you, actually, how do you actually explain it to them, Press? Like mundane, like buddy yeah. from around the way is like, Press, did I just see your name on this? What is, what's going on? Go. I, I, I basically tell them, I'll say, hey, we have this club in Crawley Town. It's near London. It's great proximity there. We're excited about the prospects of the EFL and potentially moving up. Right. But we we're a bringing we're, a proper football team. Yeah, we're bringing the internet a team and now we have a chance to attach all of these fans across the internet across the world to this club that's local near london that's what we're doing if you want to be involved like we'll talk more about the details you don't even need to get nfts or web3 it's sports and look sports fans their communities as is anyway like we're just doing that but we're doing it for the internet i i say that we're doing kind of a real life ted lasso 
<laughs> where we're buying a sports team and we're trying to bring an outsized audience to it. And if we're successful, we're going to, we're going to move up and it's going to get crazier from here. I say it's the adventure of a when, lifetime. When you, when you say move up to Americans, they don't know what you mean. Yeah. You have to start by explaining promotion relegation, which is the whole reason we're starting over there as opposed to over here. You, we have an entry ticket to the highest league in the world, even if we're not in that league right now, this would be like if you bought uh, the Hudson Valley Renegades, a single A baseball team, and then had a plan to become the Yankees, right? It seems it seems in, impossible here because you're not allowed to do it. I mean, God, would the NBA be a better product if they had promotion and relegation? But <laughs> that's a story for a different day. Uh, you know, like there's no tanking over there. You tank, you go down. So it's a like, purely capitalist uh, structure, whereas over here it's actually quite socialist in the way that we approach sports, where it's a club and you can't get out of the club once you're in. Um, so that's what makes it so exciting to me.